Welcome back to another episode of 20 Below. Welcome back to 20 Below. Today we are playing D4 Dark Dreams Don't Die. D4 is that like like a forest, like a cube? No, not a cube. Will that be a box? No. It'll be like more than a cube. Yeah, like a four-sided die. Yeah, because a, a cube is uh, squared, isn't it? No, a cube Six is three. So anyway, um, <laughs> so we're going to play this game. It's like a, a point and click, uh, fast action, a lot of story, a lot of dialogue. I think it'll be fun. Um, <laughs> but before we get into it, I'm going to read this little uh, description here provided to you by our friends over at Steam. Ooh. It says, this is the story of a man with a very strange fate. His name is David Young. Two years ago, his wife was murdered by an unknown alien. <laughs> unknown assailant. <laughs> unknown. <laughs> Alright, moving on. And Young suffered a blow to the head that cost him his memory. His wife's final words, look, 4D. Mm. That's our intro. This game is very D-focused. These developers really like the D here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you gotta watch what you say here. Let's, let's <laughs> play the game. <laughs> that kind of game, man. <laughs> <laughs> gotta take that stuff out of here. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, man, this game looks interesting. So you gotta look for D, and the game's name's D4. That's interesting. And also, look at the dude's eyes. Hmm. Like his eyes are like <clears throat> red, red and blue. That's interesting. So I, I, I don't know. So I, I, all. I'm seeing Japanese sort of uh, anime style drawing here, hmm. uh, and and yeah, this looks interesting. It's a point and click. We'll we'll see what we get into. Shall we start? Let's start. Yeah, this game is very anime, um, so you can go ahead and start them whenever you're ready. This is a work of fiction. Any similarity to actual persons, places, organizations? Too fast. Too fast. Music's nice. It is nice. It's very calming. There's a lot of good music in this game. I'll give it that. <laughs> David. This is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. Hmm. That got dark pretty quickly. Yeah. What happened there? Someone got shot. got shot. Yeah, they did. Prologue. The day it all began. We may be getting a guest joining us. <laughs> okay. So here we are in the game. We are a girl on a lake. Yeah, that's because that's what you are. You're a girl on a lake. <laughs> Investigate the clues. Ooh, found some credits. Investigate the clues, dude. 
You can get credits. Credits is what it says. What would you use the credits for? Um, you can buy like outfits and stuff. Oh, nice, nice. Warning sign. Why not the sign? What does that say? Danger, thin ice. Warning. Pfft. Warning. 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 I ain't worried about no thin ice. Danger, Will Robinson. Okay, move to the select. Okay, now I could turn. Now I'm looking at this direction. Pick up some more credits. Push that snowball. Mm -hmm. Stupid snowball. Yeah. Yeah. Look that way. Mm, they just wrong. rubbed me the wrong way. Who was that over there? Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Daddy, I'm on a frozen lake. Oh, you waved at me. So don't be worried at all that your daughter's standing on thin ice. Daddy. I'm just gonna probably drown, but it's cool. Yeah, like this is clearly leading up to one thing and all, one thing only. Hmm, nothing interesting over here. Let's move forward. Like this is this is ridiculous. Keep let's walk farther onto the lake, see what happens. No. Oh, Danger. go back to your dad. But I don't go I, back. Dad's not funny. Won't let me play on the ice. <laughs> go back to your dad. Danger, thin ice. How thin could it be? <laughs> but there's a bird over there. I want to pet it. Wow. Stupid, stupid snowball. Hey, look. This is. <laughs> Let's go flew. Oh, look, a bird. Hi, bird. Push the owl. It's not nice. Push the owl. Stupid owl. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. <laughs> Stupid owl. Oh, I'm going to pet him. It tried to bite me. Of course it did. It's a fuck. An <laughs> <laughs> owl. Uh -oh, here we go. To your dad now. Save me, dad. The ice is cracking. Oh my gosh! Don't just stand there. Look at that giant frozen deer. She's just like accepting her fate. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Oh man, this guy's tripping. <laughs> oh, I, I think they're, they're trying to do like a James Bond sort of intro. Well, the the last time I played, I had him wear the uh, like snake outfit, which is why he's wearing mm -hmm. this outfit. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Louis, a Metal Gear Solid guy. This is not the outfit that he starts with. He looks dead. It's because he's high out of his mind. Oh, I gotta rub him. Wake up, sleepy head. Yeah, you're definitely a few seconds in front of me. Ahead of me. Strawberry flavored gum. And a shoe. I didn't see you again this time either.
It's with the mustache. Little Peggy. That's just how I dressed him. Yeah, you could change the outfits in this game, which last time I played I yep. did. So everyone's wearing their like Metal Gear Solid outfits. My name is David Young. <laughs> Former knock. It's pretty cool. PD. Running around like Snake. Dude. The past. My likes include 100% His name is David Young. My dislikes are mainly drugs and chewing gum. Drugs are bad. Chewing gum is yeah. Okay. Two years ago, someone killed my wife. Since then, I've been using every second of my life. His dislikes are chewing gum. Using a certain yeah. why is he? Yeah, he chews it. Power. What? I hate chewing gum, but I chew it every day. That's weird. <laughs> All right, we're in the bathroom, the very dirty bathroom. Yay, bathrooms! What's with the mirror? Let's take a look. Look around. My head is full of memories of my wife. And the bullet that robs me of them. Hmm. What happened in this place? On that day? What happened? For D. Let's look at the sink. Oh, time to wash my hands. It's been broken since that day. It's very memento-y. Yes. That's actually how... Oh, we'll get to that. Lollipops. Oh, we'll get to that. Two dollars for three. Let's look at the toilet. <laughs> what? Stupid toilet seat. Who left up the goddamn toilet seat again? <laughs> Hmm. Did you eat that and then your health went out? The person who sends it wants the feelings yeah, to be understood. eating stuff helps your like Sometimes stamina though, or whatever. Those feelings remain okay. in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures mementos. Hmm. Weird. Haha. -ha. The bright red stiletto. A stiletto worn by the librarian at the BPL. Perhaps. He called. Ah, oh, that's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Perhaps it was a gift from a lover. It has a name on the back: Dominic Bean, a mild-mannered librarian. By day, at night, she lured men with her wills and sold them drugs. Maybe the sender of this shoe was one of her victims. Either way, she was indeed. Hmm. This memento has lost its power. It's lost its power? It's powerless. Alright, let's look around this bathroom. Toilet, pouring. Bunch of garbage in the corner. Wait, no, I don't want to sit on the toilet seat again. Yeah, yeah, sure. Want to see the toilet seat again? No, I was trying to look at the tub. Ah. Little Peggy. So talk to me about the controls here. Um, so yeah, you just pretty much just click on things. You click to move. You click to look. You click to click. Click to investigate. Every now and then you have to drag, <laughs> like click and drag. A small click desk and an click office, to pay respects. A molten hot factory. Yeah, it's it's. Quiet you really just need the mouse to play it. The register in the supermarket, or in the middle of an intersection, in bed. On a golf course, <laughs> a kitchen. For some, it's the whole town. Peggy's got a gun. What is up with this dude's accent? He's from Boston. That's a Boston accent? Look, <laughs> Japanese people they might not be the best of Boston accents. This has been my place Dude, it sounds like an English accent. <laughs> What? All right, let's leave this bathroom now. That totally so sounds English. So we have to click and then drag to open the door. No results this time either. This <laughs> click and drag. Clear. Now we're in our house. 
There's the door to the bathroom. Here's a uh, shelf. Let's see what's inside. Click and drag to open. Hey, look, some band aids. Sad, like we're. I need to clear this case first. I can no. sleep after that. No, no point going to sleep. Gotta get to work. Sleep is for the <laughs> dead. <laughs> this is a cozy little house. Look, telephone. Mm. Let's make some long distance calls. Hell oh, yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Pizza's on its way. Mm -hmm. He didn't even call anybody, he just picked up the phone and nodded. Yeah, right? You can even hear the dead dial tone. <laughs> it's All just right. like nodding there like a fool. Let's check out the hutch. Let's check it out! Some more band-aids. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Man, I really like my band-aids. What's in this door? For now, I need to clear this case. I can go outside. What's in the box? No after that. No time to go outside. Gotta get to work. Come on, David. How do, how do you get it? How do you get to work? I gotta click on the folder. But I'm just dicking around oh. right now. Oh, I thought gross. He meant like get to work as in a place, not the concept. <laughs> oh, look. Pick up a beer. Man, this fridge is gross. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, he really needs a woman in his life. <laughs> what happened to his wife? <laughs> Time for a nice glass of water. Wash that beer down with. <laughs> Could really use a woman's touch in this apartment, too. Oh, definitely. Hmm. City tap water. All right, let's take a little tour around the kitchen. Here's the uh, <laughs> the microwave. There's a cheeseburger in it. Probably left from yesterday. I think I'll eat it anyway. I would eat it. Mmm, cheeseburger. Burgers. <laughs> and you know what goes good with burgers? A scolding hot cup of coffee. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's... Well, I picked up a letter, and how the hell do I read it? Boy. Is it in documents? Oh, hell, Mr. Banana House. September 14th, 2009. David, the thought of you... Reading this makes me very happy. I hope you've calmed down a little. I love you as you are, and I'll love the David you become. This is the second time I've written that. Do you remember the first time? Today I found all my old letters. It's strange. They've become your case materials. All the letters I have ever sent. A perfect collection going back to high school days. They're obviously important to you, stored so neatly. Maybe you respect them too much to tear them open. Is that it? So, this is a challenge from the Peggy I am now to the David you'll become. I've hidden many letters, old and new. I want you to find them all and all of our memories and know that the Peggy... I was the Peggy I am now, and the Peggy I'll become, little Peggy Young. September 14th, 2009. Huh. Peggy likes playing games, huh? Yeah, what? Hey, look. She, she kind of sounds like a jerk. And she was just a librarian? I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, that's what. <laughs> what right. am I doing? What am I doing? Beating up the 
freaking stupid umbrellas. <laughs> so here's the living room. We got stupid some, umbrellas, they deserve it. Got some magazines here, let's see. Let's just take a read, read of the old magazine. Uh, 2014 Winter Olympics Ice Hockey News. Last week, <laughs> <laughs> candidate team member for the 2014 Winter Olympics in, in Sochi were announced. These candidates will now undergo further training in order to make the election of the final team in Vancouver. <laughs> this is very important material for my scrapbook. In Vancouver, four years ago, America and Canada faced off in the final for the first time since Salt Lake City 2002. Defeated by their Canadian rivals by just one point, the Americans proved unable to en enact their revenge. The word is that this time they will defeat Canada and make the title and the public have high expectations for the team members who have been selected. Will this tournament be their chance to finally take revenge? Stay tuned and find out. I think it will be. I think so too. <laughs> yeah, they're doing pretty good. Alright, let's see what this uh, letter thing says. So, I noticed this game when uh, starting up it says uh, there's something in the background. Hey, yeah, that's my uh, timer. Ah, what were you gonna say? <laughs> I noticed that this game uh, has the Unreal Engine built into it. That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I, I, I like I like the Unreal Engine. I've seen a lot of great games designed with it. That's fantastic. Um, what else was I gonna say? Hmm. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and read this last letter here, and then I'll wrap up the first episode, I suppose. Sure. This one is uh, Mickey Norman's Twilight Report. Spontaneous human combustion. A person can suddenly burst into flames and then burn up in a short space of time. Do you believe in the existence of such a phenomenon? Ooh. There was a bizarre occurrence in Boston last month. A university student out during the weekend partying with his friends was suddenly enveloped in flame and burned to death. As shocked friends looked on, the victim's body was quickly consumed by fire. Once the flames were extinguished, all that remained were the tips of his hands. The rest of him reduced to charred black ashes. That isn't all. Boston has seen a series of unexplained events in recent times. I am planning on heading down there and investigating these bizarre incidents. My next report will likely come on the ground from Boston. Look forward to my findings. So that was uh, another exciting episode what? of Reading Fake News. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> what was that? You're seeing that the dude, the only his fingertips were left? What? He combusted after a long day of boozing it up and all that. All that alcohol just turned into fuel and he just exploded. Bigfoot did it. Probably. It makes sense. <laughs> All right. I think that's a good that's a good place to end it. All right. And then next time we will continue on the tour of our lovely apartment. Somebody left the fireplace on. All right. See you next time. All right. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You'll be doing yourself a huge favor.